Green Lantern number 10, written by Jeff Johns, art by Doug Monkey. We left off last issue with the Indigo Tribe power battery being destroyed, thus freeing the entire Indigo Tribe, which, as it turns out, are a bunch of murderers. So, a bunch of murderers are now chasing after Hal and Sinestro, except for Black Hand, who immediately just looks at his hand like, what happened to my black ring? And he throws off the Indigo ring and is just trying to bolt it off the planet somehow. So... Then we cut to Hal and Sinestro, who are running after Natromo, the guy who made the Indigo Tribe battery. And Hal's just given the rundown to Sinestro of everything that's happened over the past few issues and what they're trying to do now. And Sinestro's like, dude, I could totally fight off the Indigo Tribe. Watch me. And he turns around and is about to use his power ring. And Hal just, like, puts a kitty leash on him, like a harness, and pulls him away. And he's like, "Uh uh-uh, you... You need my help here. It's the whole reason you pulled me off the planet and made me give up the life I wanted. And he's like, dude, you're a Green Lantern. This is your life. And he's like, shut up. We're not dealing with that right now. So Hal made a construct Humvee in order to transport them both. And he's about to run over Natromo, so he just deactivates the Humvee. And Hal cages Natromo. And Natromo's like, just let me go. I want to say goodbye to my family before everything dies. And... Hal's like, oh yeah, by the way, the Guardians are apparently going to destroy everything again, so that's something we gotta deal with. But anyway, Sinestro just, because Natromo's not willing to help rebuild the thing because Avan Sur is dead, Sinestro just comes up with a very sharp piece of wood, holds it to Natromo's neck, and he's like, fix it or you die. And Hal's like, he was literally already resigned to death, Sinestro. Fear is not the answer right now. And Sinestro's like, fine. You're right. And he's like, I'm right. Did you say I'm right? Oh my god, that's can I can I can I write this moment down? So Sinestro says that he's going to go and take care of the Indigo tribe while Hal does whatever he can in order to get Natromo to do his thing. So Sinestro holds true to his word, starts beating the ever loving crap out of the Indigo tribe, and he does it with his bare hands. Like he doesn't have a charge in his ring. And Natromo's like, it's impossible without Avin Sir, it's no hope. And he's like, Yeah, no, I get it. Avanser is impossible to live up to. Sinestro has told me many a times. But Avanser is the one who gave me my ring. And I inherited all the responsibilities that he had. So we're going to do this and we're going to do it now. So this one was like, all right, well, you've given a motivational enough speech. I'll rebuild it. And so he tries to rebuild the battery. But it's just, it doesn't have the original spark. All the industry energy has been dispersed and there's no original spark anymore. And he can't quite get it to hold together. And then I- Iroke, I believe her name is, Iroke, um, aka the one Indigo Tribe member that everyone knows, she steps up, and of course she's a murderer now at this point, she steps up and she's like, hey, um, please fix it, because I, I, I do still, even without the ring, I do still feel bad about the thing I did, and I don't want to have to live with that. And as such, she feels sadness for her actions, compassion and there's a slight spark in a ring which is just enough for him to reforge the power battery and all the killers who were still wearing their rings are immediately enslaved again to the compassion ring and then we cut to the ring that black hand took off which immediately is just like hey where's black hand and zooms off after him black hand sees it coming he's like no 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 and so he jumps off of a cliff and it just straight up head dives into the rocks beneath and the ring's like ah okay gonna go find a replacement and it zooms off elsewhere so then Hal he sees the indigo tribe and he's like hooray we did it everyone is back to and then we see Sinestro there going knock he's like ah okay guys I do need you to let Sinestro go because I'm gonna need him in order to take care of the whole guardian subplot over there and Iroke is like, we will let you have Sinestro on one condition. You have to tell us, you have to give your word that Sinestro is able to find redemption without our ring. And Hal's like, um, I want to believe that. And then we cut away. Like, we don't see how that resolves. So I, I, I'm hoping that's the truth. So anyway, we cut them one last time to Black Hand, who's still lying dead on the rocks. Um, And then a black ring emerges from his mouth. And it says, William Hand of Earth, rise. And he puts it on, and he comes back as a Black Lantern zombie. And his first words as he stands up are, I want to go home. So, yeah, 
Revenge of Black Hand, picking up in the rest of this book, I suppose. It's the name of the trade. Had to happen. So, I like it. I think, I don't know, there was just this air, I, it felt like pretty serious, like there were a lot of serious moments to it, but the entire air of the issue felt more humorous than anything else. Like, just Hal having to constantly deal with like, no, shut up, we're not doing that. Like, I don't know, I enjoyed it. It, it just had this nice little nice little tone to it in order to keep it not too terribly serious. Um, if it wasn't intentional, then by all means it wasn't a great issue, but I, I'm choosing to believe it was. I'm going to give this one a, I'm going to give it a, no, I'm going to give it an eight. I, I was really, I was about to say 7.5, but honestly, I think I like this issue well enough. I think it is a solid enough issue. It doesn't do a whole lot. It's just the cap off to the issue and then the setup for the next plot. But I think that the writing, and of course the art, but I think that the writing is high quality enough. Like, it doesn't, it rehashes things that need to be rehashed, and then it has, you know, typical motivational speech, but then all the rest of the stuff is just high-quality dialogue, and I, I really do appreciate that. It doesn't overstay its welcome at any point, and it even lets just the art tell the story in several panels, so I'm liking it. I definitely think it's worth an eight. Uh, we will see how the Black Hand story continues it, though. <laughs> 